So with the general elections being today, November 8th, our History Club wanted to create a short video about learning how to vote, especially since it is one of the most important things that we can do as citizens. Voting is very important and it not only affects our communities, but it also affects each of us individually in various ways. Voting itself isn't as complicated as many people think, but knowing what the issues are and who to vote for based on your interests and opinions is the more difficult part. Before we get into the Pennsylvania races that include electing our governor and senator, we first need to learn some basic facts about voting. Let's begin with registering to vote. There are a few requirements that need to be met before registering in Pennsylvania. To be able to vote, you must be a citizen of the U.S. for at least one month before the election. You must be a Pennsylvania resident of your district for at least 30 days before the election, and you must be 18 years old on the day of the election. To register online is very simple and only takes a few minutes. All you have to do is head over to www.vote.pa.gov and fill out some basic information about yourself and how you identify politically. Unfortunately, if you haven't registered yet, you will not be able to vote in today's election, but you should still register so that you'll be ready for the next one. If you're already registered, make sure you know your polling place, which is on your certificate of voter registration that would be mailed to you upon registering online. Or just Google, where is my polling place, enter your address, and your polling place will appear. The next step is to learn about the various issues and the different perspectives on these issues. While learning about issues that we care about, it is important to challenge ourselves and seek out information that may be counter to our own beliefs. A good resource for this is Procon.org, which is sponsored by Britannica and seeks to provide different perspectives on society's most debated topics. While exploring these different perspectives, we are able to more authentically think about the issues. When exposed to a point I don't initially agree with, it could actually make me be more sure of my pre-existing view, or perhaps if I could see better evidence on the other side that would lead me to challenge this view. Either way, it's a win-win for me. By putting yourself outside of your comfort zone, you can more authentically learn about these issues. So if you're following along so far, you know how to register to vote and have at least some understanding of how to research different issues that you find important. The next question is, who should I vote for? Well, this is a hyper-individualized choice that you need to make. Using the background work that you would have completed on various issues, you need to be careful to ensure you've actually been selecting the best candidates. When voting, we want to choose politicians whose values, stances, priorities, and their records prove that they best align with us. We can assume that you are not a fanatic that is able to spend hundreds of hours reading speeches, policies, and watching footage of candidates. Therefore, we need some place to go to learn about these candidates on their issues. One resource on the issues does just that. While on the website, you can click on the candidate that you want to learn more about and you can see where they stand on topics like abortion, gun control, social security, and so on. Similarly, but a more in-depth source is Vote411, which offers a side-by-side -side comparison of the candidates based on their own responses. Last, in addition to learning about the candidates, we also recommend learning more about yourself. We recommend taking the I Side With quiz that offers a deeper look at your political views and those candidates and parties that most align with you. This quiz takes about five to 10 minutes to complete and asks a variety of questions on topics like social, environmental, criminal, and educational issues, along with many others. What's great about this quiz is that it provides users with a multitude of answer choices instead of a typical yes, no, or unsure. Hopefully at this point, you're feeling more confident with the voting process and the steps to take to ensure that you're most efficient and accurate with your vote. We have shared a few resources that we hope you bookmark, and if you thought this video was helpful, we hope you share it with others. Voting is important, and we should be developing habits to become active citizens. And overall, the United States voter turnout is very poor, especially when compared to other nations. For example, in 2020, we had over 158 million people vote, but that was just under 63% of our voting age population. Compare that to France, Australia, Sweden, Turkey, or even Uruguay. These stats should be concerning, and we hope to see the turnout improve. Luckily, we can start fixing this problem today. In fact, we call on you to do your part by going to the polls and voting. Happy researching. Just keep going. Happy researching. Happy researching, happy voting, and thanks for watching.
next step is to learn about the different issues and the different perspective on these issues. Let's start. Not wrong. Last, in addition to learning about candidates, we also learn. Ah, my bad.